If you look at the numbers, they gave the president their full support on both elections. But are young people now questioning their decision? From Fast and Furious to the IRS mess to the current Obama debacle, young people now sounding off in some cases on the president's claiming that they feel deceived. Let's bring on now CampusReform.org reporter Caleb Bonham. He spoke to the students uh, and he joins us right now. Caleb, you have your own web show, right? The uh, Caleb Bonham Show. Caleb Bonham Show and crossover on uh, uh, Leadership Institute's Campus Reform right. every Sunday. Check it out. So you, are, you guys are a campus group and a conservative group, but you went out to the campus, and your first question was what? You focused on the IRS, correct? Yeah, we asked students if the president's explanation to the IRS targeting of conservative organizations was transparent, as he promised to be the most transparent administration in history. Was it deceitful or was it straight incompetence? All right, let's hear what they had to say. I think he was embarrassed because he wasn't dealing with it well, and he just thought it would be a better idea to say, nope, I didn't have any idea, <laughs> kind of like a kid would. I think it's possible that he was just trying to come up with a better reason or come up with a better excuse as to why he didn't deal with it, and that's why he said that he didn't know about it, but it seems kind of impossible that he didn't. Well, what campus were you on? Uh, we're at the University of Northern Colorado, and it should be noted that the president's explanation to the IRS scandal was that he didn't know about it until it hit the news. And we brought the students down this train of thought, you know, bringing up scandal after scandal, and the president's consistent response that he was unaware of, of what was going on, the improper activity within his administration, until it broke on the media. So, you know, he needs to be briefed by the news organizations a little more, I guess. Well, and there's about five or six different ones, including this one, Fast and Furious. He was saying that he didn't know anything about it. You brought that up to the kids on campus. Here's what they said. I think he was being deceitful. Ooh, I feel really bad saying this, but honestly, that seems a little deceitful. How do you not know? I don't know. Like, that just seems so illogical. Like, I'm the president, and I didn't know until the news broke. Yeah. Like, that just seems very incompetent. Well, uh, there you go. Again, Northern, Col Northern Colorado? Uh, University of Northern Colorado, and we took him down this, this progression, as I said, and as with every scandal that we brought up, every instance of, you know, the Obamacare glitches during the rollout, and then to the administration knowing for three years that nearly 75% of all individually insured Americans would lose their health care, the president uh, consistently and continued to go out and promise that if you liked your health care, you'd be able to keep your health care. And the students, they were simply, they, they, they were speechless in many cases. Yeah, in fact... Uh you brought that question up, and that's the newest news out of this whole entire uh, trend. So let's see what the kids said on campus. Yeah, that's 100% deceitful. That's <laughs> telling people one thing and then not going through with it. That was the president being completely deceitful. 100% deceitful. That's you terrible. Say. It was deceitful. Well, here's the thing. Most of those kids heard, we can say on your parents' plan until 26, and they thought Obamacare is good. It's those older people who don't like Obamacare. Now they're getting a different sense of it, aren't they? Yeah, they, uh, they are understanding that, uh, that this was not what the president promised, and they're starting to see through that. Right. Uh, listen, uh, campusreform.org, we've got to get the voice of uh, the 19 to 23-year-olds, for the most part, that are on the campuses. Caleb Bonham, we appreciate you doing that, and good luck with campusreform.org. Hey, thank you. All right. Uh, meanwhile, 11 minutes before the top of the hour.